In terms of social distancing, I think it's important to understand how this virus is transmitted. Um, and so the virus is transmitted through respiratory droplets. These are large droplets that are generated when someone infected coughs or sneezes. And we know that these droplets can extend uh, about three to six feet from the person that generates them. This is where the concept of social distancing comes in. Um, we try, if we stay away from others who are sick especially, but just in general, um, beyond that six foot uh, margin, then your risk of being infected or exposed drops down incredibly dramatically. And so that's why some of these recommendations about cancelling large meetings or gatherings where people are often in very close contact with each other, um, some of the universities that have decided to switch from classroom uh, teaching setting to online teaching setting, that's where some of those measures come in. To increase the distance between people, you then decrease the chances that they are exposed if someone around them is sick. In terms of social distancing, there's a few different things that are recommended. One is avoiding handshakes. We know that our hands carry a lot of germs on them and changing to another method of greeting people is uh, encouraged and recommended. People have uh, been recommending things like a wave or a bow or a hand over your heart um, as certain alternatives that people can use that don't carry the risk of a, a handshake. Now is really the time for people to plan and prepare for this outbreak. Um, and to stay informed and to get, start getting their information from uh, valid uh, news sources. Uh, some of the places that we're recommending people go to include the CDC website, which has a lot of really great information on it. Uh, the Mayo Clinic uh, news website also has lots of great information on it as well. There's a lot of misinformation that's circulating out there, especially on social media. So I would encourage people to really pay attention to where their information is coming from and to try and avoid sharing or spreading information that is coming from unvalidated sources as well.